Now we start the program in earnest. Um, thousands of Nigerians have been murdered in insurgency attacks in the last two years, but none witnessed as much outrage as the murder, the lynching of four University of Port Harcourt students um, last week. Uh, before that, we, 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 were, we were still reeling from the happenings in uh, the Polytechnic in Mubi, Adamawa State, where about 40, 47 students had just been, you know, mauled down. We were still trying to recover from that when the one of the University of Port Harcourt happened. So the question now is, how did we arrive at this pass? Why is it that we don't seem to have compassion anymore? The Nigerian does not seem to be the man or the woman that he used to be. What has happened to us? This and many more questions we're going to put to our panel this morning. And we're glad to welcome Mr. John Kolawale, who is Secretary General of the Trade Union Congress. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Dari Ogunlano, former NANS President and Security es Expert. Good morning. Good morning. As well as um, Dr. Olusoya Awoso, who is a PR consultant and the former Student Union leader at the University of Ife. You're all welcome, gentlemen. Okay. Let me begin with the PR consultant. Um, what do you think has happened to Nigeria? These are scenes in the past that were non-existent, taboo, and all of a sudden these things are happening every day. Our psyche is being you know, assaulted with posters in the newspapers almost on a daily basis of murder here, killing, massacre, there's no end to it. What has happened to us? Well, I think we have suffered greatly kind of disposition in our civic and cultural values. This is a time when the words of elders are no longer words of wisdom. And this started a long time ago. I would like to pin it down to a kind of military angover. With the incursion of military into uh, our politics and the administration, the psyche of Nigeria become rather militarized. You will agree with me that the military came and bastardized, not only bastardized, they destroyed every, every institution, social institution that will have, will have used to pilot our nation. For instance, it started from education. They destroyed it. Started from you remember the you remember the the, the porch in the civil service. This, through that, they destroyed the civil service. So every aspect of our life was, ne was nearly destroyed by the military, and they also introduced into our system a kind of god that is money. Money now determines everything. What you are is determined by the depth of your, of your pocket. In the days gone by, it wasn't so. And that is why, you know, as history changes, human institution must also change accordingly. If your history changes negatively, your institution will begin to develop negatively. And that is why we are, that is why we are at the point at which we are today. 